Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, some interesting news about uh, Windows 11 if you're not on 22H2. So according to a leak that happened and was actually talked about by a new website, um, a user actually has been able to check out and enable some features in Windows 11 uh, 21H2 that are going to come out on 22H2. Now, not all of them. You're not going to get everything. But it would seem that some of the features uh, that 22H2 is getting is also going to be on 21H2 at some point. Um, one of them is the new search in the taskbar, which is going to be different, and a few other things. It's even possible that the File Explorer tabs might actually make it to uh, 21H2 at some point, not just 22H2, which is kind of cool when you think about it and kind of tells you, you know, moving to 22H2 maybe isn't that great of an idea. You know, they found another glitch today where apparently if you're using remote desktop on Windows 11, Windows 11 22H2, a lot of people are reporting that uh, the Windows remote desktop isn't working. It just hangs and doesn't connect to remote PCs. Um, I think there's more problems on 22H2 than Microsoft actually thought there would be. And then again... Um, we're going to talk about it also in a separate video. The rollout is going well for most people. Um, it's really specific people and specific users that have and use some features that most people don't that have maybe possibly a little more problems. But anyways, one of the interesting things to note is that, uh, yep, some of those new features will actually uh, also seep into the 21H2. So... You might want to hang in there. If you're on 21H2, was waiting for 22H2, how about hanging in 21H2 for a while and see what happens um, in the next few weeks and months. And, you know, by that time, also at the same time, they'll be playing around with whatever bugs. If you're a more advanced user, uh, you know, the, the file transfer uh, through network and the f copying of your large files locally might be a problem. Uh, now the remote desktop problem that's uh, happening also, and a few little other bugs uh, might you know might want you to just uh, stay put and use um, 11H2, and um, well at some point maybe even get at least a few features that 22H2 will get. So this is kind of interesting um, that they're going to you know do that, uh, especially since. Uh, you know, you would think that they would keep all of the new stuff for the newer version so people move on. But it seems that it might not be the case for every feature. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.